guys, this is Vemmerdust Studios, and welcome back! Today we are going to be playing some more Amnesia. A machine for pigs. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So last episode we stumbled upon this little shitter right here. We went ahead and fixed that bad boy up, so that's all good to go. Yeah, so we can go ahead and get out of here. Move on to the next... Journal entry? The next journal entry! That is it! Ignition control! Now to find the ignition controls and start the machine once more. Elated, I stride forth upon those catwalks. I'm coming, my darlings! I have almost saved you. Yes, yes. I shall save my little kids, my little darlings. Holy shit. I, I don't know, I never looked down. Spooky shit. Anyways, let's just go up here and I... Uh, they're suffocating my children? Well, you can fuck right off. What is this shit? Am I supposed to go up there? Um, <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so... Boom. Daddy, daddy. Whoa! What the fuck's happening? Are those the- Oh, the lights! <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Sound like a coffin getting nailed up. Set them free. Set them all free. Oh shit. I kind of feel like I'm doing something bad here. Like, I'm fucking up, kind of. Am I fucking up? Am I good? Did I just fuck myself? What? Yeah, I fucked myself there. I knew. I breathe again. I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children. My time is come. More pig. More pig. Well, fuck this guy, dude. Boys, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This shit bow to me. Whoa, what the? What the fuck? They doing that sick Oh shit, what the fuck was that? That shit about to make me tear up until I saw those little bitches. And then I was like, oh damn. Whoa. Oh, fuck off! Don't do this to me, game! Hello? Ah, oh, here we go again with the dark places and the creepy ass little kids! And, emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. Man, this shit is sad. Yeah, this is real sad. Oh, what is this? A pig head! No! Oh! More more pig heads! Y'all see that? They just like slid right in there. <laughs> Anyways, 29th of December 1899. Can a man construct himself anew? Can a man, on realizing who he is, on what he has become, tear himself apart down to the bricks and begin again? Are our souls just this? Tiny cog wheels and clockwork. In intricate machines to serve a function that, upon reflection, we might set to a new task? Can a man, defined by his actions, defined by that which he finds abhorrent, set to sabotaging this body, his machine, until those children of his soul turn in new motion? 
and he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century with hope in his heart. As I reach my hands to the exposed wires, I ask myself this. Is redemption possible for such a creature as I? And if not, then surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue to live as a monster. Damn, man, this shit is getting dark. Like, I don't remember fucking a dark descent getting this dark, yo. Like, this is dark. Oh, we got a journal entry. Let's just, uh, oh, okay, can't whip it out on the middle of the staircase. That's, uh, reasonable. Uh, journal. Betrayed! Yeah, we got a little betrayed there. Just a little bit. So, it is done. The saboteur was me, and the voice on the telephone was him. But what of us? How do we connect? Surely, I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. All I can grasp is a moment when the world split into two pieces and the innards of humanity fell from an orifice, torn agape into my open, bifurcated heart. Damn, that was a big word. Bifurcated? Like, shit, you expect me to know how to pronounce that? Yeah. Warning, Steve events. Yeah, we know how Steve... Where are they? Where are my children? Yeah, we gotta get them children Where back. You ask, Landis? What? What do you mean I know the answer? What does it say? Automatic pressure regulator? Alright. Another page. August 31st, 1899. Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proves indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. Oh, this... <laughs> This turned into some child labor shit. Well, it is 1899, so I guess that's quasi-acceptable. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize at source, but drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we must shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies, pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. Armed with just a shortened broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast, fast, or they risk being trapped and boiled by superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. Well, you send kids to their death. That is a bit douchey, just a tiny bit. Like, you know they're going to get fucked up, but you send them in there anyways. You're a douche. Anyways, moving on with the note. Then we will be sending their comrades in afterwards to scrape the free. I'm fucking done, y'all. They, they, they have. All right, yo. Y'all know what happens. Fuck this. Fuck that note. Okay. That's all I gotta say. All right. So what do we got going on with this machine? Oh, oh. <laughs> that, that was that. I thought we got a little spooky there. I thought something ran by. Whoa. Oh! Is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh shit, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, we got something going on here. Uh. Was I supposed to do that? Can I put them back? Yeah, no, it doesn't look like I can put them back. Uh, am I supposed to put them into somewhere else? Is there another area? Does not appear so. <laughs> Fuck, it's stuck back there. <laughs> well, that's stuck. Uh, hopefully that's not going to interfere with anything. But there we go. Uh, I just did whatever I did. Is, is that it? I don't know if that's it. Did I do it? Is there anything else I must do? Uh... Can't switch that thingy, my boober. So, I'm gonna guess that's, uh... It's blinking now. Oh! There we go, okay. I knew there was a... Little rumbly rumblies. Anyways, I knew there was a... What are you doing with little piggy? Do you think I would allow you to sabotage me again? Hey! My children, you unholy bastard! Yeah, you tell that bitch! I don't like him calling me Little Piggy. Like, what the fuck? I ain't a little, little piglet. Anyways, yo. Let's, uh... 
Let's get going. We got the freaking jingle bells. Oh, oh, ow! Okay. I don't know. I think I'm supposed to come back down here. Wait. What the fuck? There's... There's no, uh... No entrance. Uh... Perhaps I wasn't supposed to come down here? Was I supposed to stay up there? Can I go up further? What? Huh? Pressure regulation, yes, yes. Was I supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to go back here, okay. Um, do I just jump? Okay, there we go. Oh, got through that pretty easily. Okay, let's uh actually climb down the ladder this time instead of falling. Falling and breaking our legs. Okay. Teddy bear. Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus. But it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! Mm. Okay, so are we gonna get our ship back, or... <laughs> are we just, like, insane here? Because I kind of can't, can't see. Uh, a little dark. You know, um... I... Can't pull out my lantern. So, uh... What the fuck am I supposed to do? Do I just go? Oh! Are you kidding me? You're supposed to freaking duck? <laughs> See, this is shit that I would never figure out. Although I did figure that out. I didn't even have to use a weak ear or nothing. It's freaking dark though. What is. What's happening? I don't like this, yo! What the fuck? I can't see sh That was- That was fucking creepy. Holy shit. Oh my god. Spit all over my screen too. Oh! There's that rat bitch again! I saw you! Saw that dumbass rat bitch. December 1st, 1899. There's a spoon of medicine. I says... And it's a silver spoon. What you get, what you did get born holding, ever so painful for mummy deer, but grasped so hard, it was in a little screaming red fist. Later, you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get away, to get all the way to Mexico, and then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to save fat. I, this shit is good. The this, this spoon was the same you gave your twins then you used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat fat little mole where you dig next i ax you and your little silver spoon made from the silver spine of your children and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed dear sweet jesus my darling lilybeth what have i become is that supposed to be like a riddle or something? I didn't understand any of that. I don't know if I was supposed to, or if that was the, the, I, like, dealio. I wasn't supposed to understand. I don't know. Uh, danger and sure conduits are correctly placed to avoid pressure backdrafts. Child fatalities this month, 17, or 17, I think that's a seven. Weird ass seven, but yeah. Uh, that's pretty sad. 17 child fatalities. Like, I don't think you should have that shit up on a side, yo. Like, what if the inspectors roll through? Oh, that's probably like a fucking medal or something. Because we are in the freaking late 19th century. Do I have to pull this out? Oh, there we go. And, like, the freaking bank alarm just went off. <laughs> Madness is the saboteur. It seems that the pressure system is indeed the Achilles heel of this facility. Something I clearly did not realize in my first clumsy attempt at sabotage. If I reroute the steam, I can wreak havoc. Escape through the pipes. 
If in the throes of my evil I sent children into the pipes to clean them, then it seems likely there is another entrance I can use to escape this noxious maelstrom of engines. I will ignore the burning in my nostrils from the fumes of that godless compound X that fuels these machines. That will become the saboteur. I will destroy the pressure system, enabling me to enter the pipes without fear. Okay, so the story's kind of throwing me off a little bit here. So it was I who originally sabotaged myself, and I who originally, like, banished my children in essence? I'm like, I'm very confused with this whole thing. Very, very confused. I don't know. I was really confused with the way Amnesia, the Dark Descent went, and then at the end it all came together, so I don't know if this is going to be similar in that respect. Okay, I, I don't think we're, we can go up there. I think we'll just get fucked up. But we did get a journal entry, so we can go ahead and check that bad boy out. Steam vents, all about me. The thundering of machinery. The blasts of boiling steam. I cannot pass without fear of scalding. I'm a lobster, cracked. My circulation stagnated. My vital motions impeded. Impeded. The steam will boil my hole unless I can find a way to shut it off. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so there's probably more of those machines I'm gonna get. Yes. Yeah, probably more of those machines. Is that one of them? Well, this is a machine. Uh, the pressure regulator. Some form of steam regulator. I'll wager if I disable it, the damage caused by the rushing steam pressure could be catastrophic. Certainly enough to force a temporary stalling of this entire engine. That should cause the steam pressure to drop. Mandis, you clever old goat. I can feel this horror, this grief, this betrayal boil into fury. I will not stand. I will not be under trotten. If this machine is my heirloom, I am the overman. Ooh. All right. So how does this shit, does this shit work? Oh. oh. Okay, apparently it works like that. Yeah, that was pretty easy. All I had to do... Hello? You wanna like chill the fuck out there, boy? What? There's two of the motherfuckers? What the hell is this shit? Freaking kidding me, man? Alright. I think I can go through the vents now. So let's just, uh, quietly make our way over to the vents. Yes, okay, it's good. We are good. Up the vent, quickly. Perfect. We made it up, we made it up. Glorious, glorious indeed. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Perfect, y'all. There it is. There it is, guys. Another journal entry. Holy shit, we do it good. Into the pipes and out of the engines. Now quickly, through the pipes before the pressure returns and they fill with boiling corrosive steam. I sense the machine snarl itself about me. Its unholy, inhuman mind coil and slick and sense its dark tendrils through its conduits to repair the damage. I will return to the streets. I will fetch help and I shall lead the people upon the factory, burn it to the ground and seal this evil place underground forever. Good plan, man. This good plan. Jesus, little freaking rumbly rumblies. Alright, over here. And, uh, holy shit! Okay, ow, ow, ow! Jesus, no need to be so rough, alright? Ow! Getting rough again, yo. Oh, ladder over here. <laughs> that's like, a, that's such a tiny ladder, but whatever, yo. This is your doom, Mendes. This is what you dreamt it to be. I will stop you. I will save them. Wait! Oh, too late. It begins. My work has begun. Kill them, my peas. Kill them all. Okay, I am so fucking confused. Wait, so am I battling? Okay, this is open now. Am I battling with myself? No, that... That guy was the guy on the phone, which is, I, I don't know, guys, I'm all fucked up. I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. If you guys enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like. Please comment, and please, please, please subscribe. 
yeah, subscribe for more rumblies. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!